I, it wasn't no intro. Let's give for self. I don't know. I like this. Watch me flip the switch like this. But 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 yeah, burning plastic, which is when you read the definition, it's, you know, it's dangerous. Yeah. Um, you know, I should turn this off. <clears throat> Welcome to the Flip the Switch podcast, where we flip the switch on everything. And I mean everything. everything from relationships everything. to fatherhood, motherhood. I mean, we talk about it all. Finances, freedom, identity. Listen, we got a very special guest for you today. None other than ours truly. Oh. Elance, what just happened? He just, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, y'all. What's up? Already, I, already, man. Already, man. It wasn't no <laughs> entrance. They got to give for self an introduction. I, I, I don't know how y'all disappeared, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, man, this is, probably about, this is probably about to be the uh, most fun uh, episode we've ever done. Cause <laughs> this right here don't make no sense. What's up, y'all? What's up, DeAndre Official? What's, What's up, happening, uh, man? What's Mark happening? Augustus. Hey, hey, did he really just interrupt the intro like that? Like, <laughs> just to make a grand entrance, I'm done, bro. <laughs> hey, man, y'all views don't go up, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it don't, I'm charging you, bro. If it don't, I'm charging you. <laughs> Hey, What's this good? is great, man. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Pretty good, man. Uh, I didn't know how early y'all do this podcast, so, you know, I I woke up. I had, like, five alarm clocks on earlier, like, at five and six o'clock, so <laughs> I was like, man. But, you know, I made it. Dre made sure, I'm, you know, he hit me up before, you know, making yeah, sure you, I was up. You just was like up. me, man, with the five alarms, bro. <laughs> I had to stop doing that. Hey, I thought we was done doing he snoozes, stopped. man. What's what's going on, man? Uh, man, snooze is addictive, bro. This is <laughs> I swear. I just want to hey, feel like I want to be prepared, but still have to sleep. You know, <laughs> bro. Me too. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> hey, man. This is what you need to do. This works for me. Literally, this actually works. You need to when you go to bed, no matter what time it is. Especially if you're going to bed later and you only get and you're getting less than six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, or whatever, you need to literally pray to God. Make sure you come to him correct. Don't don't be just going to him asking him for stuff and you ain't you know greeting him or nothing like I did last night. Okay, but what you want to do is before you go to sleep, you pray to God, ask him to wake you up at a certain time, and you ask him for the motivation and the strength to actually get up when the alarm goes off or whenever he wakes you up, so that way you don't go back to sleep. I'm telling you, it actually works. So your alarm clock come from heaven. Yeah, because mm. there have been times when I prayed that, and I'll get wake. I'll I'll wake up like 30 minutes before, and I'd be looking like, ooh, if I go back to sleep though, I I'm not gonna wake back up that time I'm supposed to be up. So I'll just stay up, or even if it's five that. minutes before. But it 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 legitimately works though. Like that's not even yeah, trying I heard to be funny. that in general that the reason why it's hard for most people to wake up in the morning is because they didn't. Like go to night peace, go to bed peacefully that night, or, or say the right that. things to say the right things to themselves before they go to bed at night. I I, 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 I'm not as consistent as I should be with this, but I, I once in a while I have nights where I just ask myself, like, what did I do good that day? Mm, that's good. And you'll you find yourself congratulating yourself on a lot of things when you do that. See, we talking about freedom already. Mm-hmm. So listen, uh, before we actually get into uh, the the actual episode of you know what our what we got to talk about and stuff, uh, Ronnie, we yeah. are highlighting you for the the and your music for for this week. You just put out a single, burning plastic. You have an album complex portrait. Listen, we are highlighting you guys. Yes, I said you guys like your you're like your music is a whole other person. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I can do that though because I'm the host of this podcast. You know what I'm saying? So I can make <laughs> stuff up. I can, yeah, I, can, I, can I can write. I can burst things out just like the English dictionary. You know what I'm saying? Like we come up with brand new words all the time. So you know, 
<laughs> but, <laughs> but no, for real, we're highlighting you, uh, you and your your music, man. Like you, you have a uh, you have a great. Um, I think you have a great start to a music career, bro. Because you're cause you're doing something that most rappers don't do, uh, or most artists don't do, which is you you pretty much you create your own beats, you create your own music, you do the engineering for the most part. You do, like I don't think there's anything that I've heard from you that anybody else did. Well, part, I know right? this one. I know this one for yeah. Most majority well, of my own stuff. One. Yeah, ma- majority of my stuff I create produce my own i do get like assistance with certain things like dylan helped me out one time a couple times actually uh shout out to dylan allen yeah um, for real um that's my guy ray flipping came through for a few times shout out to ray flipping the mayor uh and i think my i think guy. that's it i gotta you know dre dre did a couple of little things you know and stuff like that you know he pressed Myself. like two but he pressed like two buttons <laughs> 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 I mean, if you, if, you, if, you, if you only press a couple of buttons, you know, I got background vocals. On well, you know, you got background you know what I'm saying? vocals. So I'm just saying. Drake got maybe got one background vocal. I think. Yeah. I background vocal. <laughs> but he got a whole verse, though. He got a whole verse, though. So that, that tops background vocals. Hey, that was in 2016, Complex Portraits. Go get that, y'all. You know, 2016, though. But, that, you know, I'm on. I'm uh, did on you see what I, I, I tagged you in on Facebook? It was a guy who was doing or selling his art design. And he had his main picture looked just like your album cover from uh, Are you serious? Complex Portraits. Yeah. Wait, is that did that did you send that to me? Yeah, I tagged you in it. It is. I said, no, no, no. I said I, oh yeah, I said this I looks familiar. It. Oh yeah, no, I said no, let me see yeah, it. I said this looks familiar, <laughs> and then he commented after me and said a lot of things look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. So wow. okay, you're gonna, def- you gonna defend yourself. But yeah, man, you <laughs> we we highlight you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Besides complex portraits, man, you just you my guy, man. You already know how I feel about you, bro. But you know what I'm saying? You put in work with the youth, you put in work with the church, you put in work with the youth outside of the church. You know what I'm saying? I've seen you be out here in your element, you know what I'm saying? What you're doing, it's not just music. I love what you're trying to build. I know that you got a vision for the culture at hand. You know, we've had plenty of discussions about that. And, man, I'm just proud to see that you're about to do your thing. I know it's about to happen, man. I know it knows about to happen for you. Oh, man, that's love, man. Appreciate that, man. You know, yeah, bro. You know, you know I'm an emotional guy. You know, I'm going to cry. You know, I might cry <laughs> on the podcast. You know, I'm all about love. You know, love is my occupation. That's what God gave me, you know. So that's oh, what man. I got to do. So I got to do, feel it. I got to love. I'm with that. Um, so yeah, man, we, we, uh, yeah, we, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm so glad that you're able to make the podcast, uh, cause, uh, I really didn't want to go with, you know, any other type of episode, uh, for this. Um, I really wanted to have you on and I was so glad that you're here, man. This, this episode is actually titled Burning Plastic with Elon. So, Ooh. um, yeah, man, I, I didn't, I didn't want to start this month off. I didn't want to start off July, you know what I'm saying? Any other way. Um, you know, so I'm glad that you're here, bro. Glad that the schedule worked out for, for, for all sure. of us. For sure, for uh, sure. You know, with that said, we're moving on to the <laughs> random opinion that we do every week. Um, and since you are our guest, we, it's on you, brother. Is this a random opinion? Yeah, yeah, that's why it's called random opinion, because it's random. Oh, like an opinion on something? Like anything? Yeah, just, yeah, whatever you got. Oh, man. Just that's remember, right. just remember, Dre <laughs> likes to argue. So I, I, know, I, I already know he likes to argue, man. He, he I'm trying remember, to remember I do too. So you know, so just, just you know, you know, I got, I do have a, uh, I have a couple random opinions. Oh uh, God, man, here we go with these doubles and triples, man. Hey, let me just think of one though. My man, my mind be going. Let me see. Uh, have y'all? What y'all think? Nah, don't ask uh, us. <laughs> Nah, oh. you know, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, right, go right, ahead. Right. I see you flipping the switch. Yeah, 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 that's cool, that's cool. Don't say nothing you don't stand strong behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do hey, that, Hey, that's a lot of pressure, man. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what y'all think about uh, this new iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> Shut 
<laughs> hey, man. I, well, I don't no, have serious a... or for laughs? Nah, it's for laughs. Like, I don't. I'm trying to think. It's a random. It's random. Like, I don't, it's random. I don't. So, I mean, what's your, I mean, if it's about the iPhone 11, then what's your right of opinion about it? Dre already knew this was going to happen when he, when he thought of this segment. He know how I am. I didn't oh know my he was going like this. <laughs> This is terrible, bro. Technically speaking, you had time to think of this. But when you were telling me the random opinion, I was thinking you was gonna ask me questions and I was gonna random questions. And I was gonna That's gonna happen too. Yeah, but that's that's separate. I you know, listen I, to the episode. You know this. Like, like just tell us something you believe in. Just tell us something you believe in. Uh, yeah, just dude. Just let y'all know, too, you know, uh, my mom and my dad, they be tuning in. So, you know, shout out to my mom and pops. You know, they be tuning oh, in yeah, to that's what's up. Flip the Switch podcast. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Appreciate uh, that. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah uh, you said what? What do I believe in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, even if it's food, you know what I'm saying? Like, you believe that macaroni and cheese is the best food on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Just what, you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but just, hold on, hold on, hold on. what's the opinion you got? I, okay, okay. Hey, speaking of that, speaking of food. Oh, man, here we go. I listened to y'all podcast last time and somebody, somebody said something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what? Somebody said something about, was it mustard? Was it? I know it's Mark because Dre don't like mustard, but did you say something about... <laughs> Bro, I didn't... What are you talking about? I didn't say nothing about mustard, man. You like mustard? I'll use it every blue moon, but I if if it's not honey mustard, though, for the most part, I don't use it. You eat pickles? Yeah, I'll eat pickles if I feel like it. And you eat tomatoes? Yeah. And you like olives? <laughs> Why? Man, if you don't give us a random <laughs> opinion real quick, play. My opinion is all those is trash. <laughs> all those is trash. <laughs> <laughs> it took you all that to get here. <laughs> oh, man. My boy took the scenic route to random. <laughs> man, man. man, never had that I, before. Whoever, whoever like you- that, take it. it. You know, the taste buds is, you know. Well, I got olives with you all. Wait, wait, wait. So, olives is trash. Pickles is trash. What else is trash? Olives, pickles, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mustard. Olives, pickles, tomatoes. Okay, so there, there, there's, some, there's some things that I can eat tomatoes in. There's, like, certain pastas. If you chop them up right, I can eat tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, like, it got to drown it out. Like, the flavor got to drown out to that fruit. Tomato. Yeah, I can. But, like, out. a big, chunky, juicy... Fresh tomato? No, I'm not eating that. I'm not biting into that. So wait, do you not eat enough. tomatoes on your burger? No, no, I don't. So you, every time when you go to Jack and Box, McDonald's, anything that you tell them, well, make, not McDonald's, but like Jack and Box, Carl's Jr., you tell them to take off. You the said that like Jack and the Box is better than McDonald's. I don't. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying they're, that because they're equally. I'm saying that because <laughs> McDonald's doesn't really put tomatoes on their burgers. Oh no, they don't. So that's why I took them out. Give me down, expert. Nah, I just happen to know that they don't put some meals <laughs> on this stuff. You mean you everything sponsor, got you sponsored by them, low key? Nah, huh? But you're sponsored nah. by me. I just couldn't. I couldn't use them in the example. Uh, man, but I, I, I agree with you on pickles, and I agree with you on olives. We eat kind of the same, though. Yeah, I me and Jay eat the same. Look at what. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Y'all said random, man. Like, you ain't got nothing to say about this. Is super Garden. random, man. You, you said Olive Garden. Garden. First of all, first of all, oh. randoms is uh, olives is not trash. If you put them oh, on a subway sandwich, they're them. not they're not trash. On a it's subway a- sandwich, yeah. yeah. Oh, you wrong. Ah. I'm not wrong. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not wrong. It's just different. Like vinegar, it was like vinegar fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like pickles. Just I'm not messing fruit. with. I'm not messing with y'all, man. Listen, y'all already know. I'm gonna just flat out disagree with y'all on pretty much everything you just said. I ain't got time for this today. <laughs> Cause it's two against one. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> hey, y'all man, always trying to do this, man. Hey man, we share the same blood, man. This is, hey, this is, By the way, DeAndre Fisher, my hey, cousin. 
Oh yeah, we cuss. Not, not cousin but no, said, but no. <laughs> this know? is the first time I've heard y'all just flat out agree. I've never heard y'all <laughs> ever in the last what five, six years that I've known y'all, seven years. Like I ain't never ever heard y'all actually just flat out agree off the top. It's usually a a whole disagreement before we get to y'all agreeing. No, we agree if at all about every a lot of things, bro. Every time when I've been in a room with y'all and we've had some type of uh, discussion about something, y'all always disagree. <laughs> y'all never start off agreeing. Give me an example. This is history. Of this what? is history. What? But we he, don't he, did, he did bring up when we uh, argued about Steph Curry over Kyrie Irving. That was classic. <laughs> Which, wait, for, what was the... Uh... When we were at Wayne's for uh, uh, rec- uh when we were um uh, at Wayne's, I think we we're this was in the process of a uh, of complex portrait. And yeah, the yeah, whole discussion it first it started off with Dre and Wayne disagreeing, then somehow, some way it just flipped completely. You jump you was in there more and they 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 double teamed you, Ronnie. Oh, and Mark okay. had it recorded. It's on Facebook, bro. Uh I ain't put on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, <it> was, <laughs> I went live, bro. Never took it down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let's get to was... My fault. Yeah, we just going to say that I clearly disagree with y'all. I don't <laughs> agree that Pickles is trash. Don't agree I was just trash. It has its place, just like everything else has its place, period. Do I necessarily, like, I'm, I'm one of those kids that grew up, you know what I'm saying? I, I ate the pickles by itself or whatever. It was good. I like pickles. But I like, I like sweet stuff, though, and pickles are sweet. What? Yeah, it's not. Pickles it's not is full bitter. Pickles is sour. Is it's but sour. It's sour, like sour. Man. Yeah, it's sour. a sour sweet to it. No, not sweet. It's, okay, man. Sour sweet. Like Anyways, sweet man. Anyways, man. Like what? Just, just know, just know <laughs> that we disagree. I'm not doing this with y'all today. Two, two, two against one. All right. <laughs> Anyways, man. Listen. So we got. <laughs> Y'all something else, man. Um, so we got some we got some questions for you, brother. Okay. <clears throat> Don't be scared to answer them either. Hey, man. Okay, just go ahead, man. I'm gonna do my <laughs> best I can. Nah, it, nah, it's cool. I already know you gonna be honest, bro. That's that's one thing I love about our conversations. That it's, it's always very honest. It's always very transparent. So it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So questions. So so the. So this this whole month we're really talking about freedom, and okay. um you know the the month of July I I know that I know about the whole Juneteenth thing and all that stuff, but you know for July I wanted to do a series on freedom in different um different areas of our lives. So um but for this month for this particular episode, um I just wanted to kind of just give an intro and a and a covering to what freedom is in general, um. And and hopefully, you know, people get, you know what I'm saying, uh, they get free in some area of their life. So first question, though, is uh, I want to because um, we're highlighting again, you know, you and your music and you have a, a single that you just released. Um, I think that was what, June 1st or June 2nd? Yes. Yeah, um, so <laughs> I wanted to know, though, because uh, for those that have haven't listened to it yet, um, the song is really talking about a form of freedom where, you know, it's kind of like, um, uh, and you can, you can add in or correct me or whatever, but, uh, with burning plastic, it's like kind of like burning that, that fake identity or anything that's fake around you or even anything that's fake attached to you. Um, so that you can have that, so you can reflect that, uh, that authenticity or you can have that authenticity or be connected to it. Um, uh, so how, what was the inspiration behind, Burning, you know, writing burning plastic, and how does that relate to to freedom? Uh, you know what? Uh, it's funny how it came about the song burning plastic because, uh, and like we were saying about the beat and the production and stuff, I usually make, you know, all my beats are I usually have a hand in something. Uh, but this one, it was actually a little bartering situation I had with uh, the homie with Michael. Shout out to Michael, uh, and. Uh, Actually, Isaiah Z, Isaiah Ziv used to be known, formerly known as Kid. Like it's mm-hmm. his, he produced this beat, and uh, okay. oh. I guess Mike, yeah, Mike, Mike had this beat, 
uh, and uh, you know, and I purchased it for, from him and stuff like that. So uh, this one of the beats that he had for a while, and then I was like going through. He was going through his music stuff, like his beats and stuff that he had, and I was like, "What's up with that beat?" He said, "Oh no, nah, I mean, I come up with nothing. You can have that, but we can switch beats." So I'm a, I pretty much gonna give him one of my beats, and he was gonna give me one of the beats that he owned. <laughs> so nice. I have that one, and then that one I just you know had to butter it up, did my own little. You know, reverse it, add some little effects and stuff to it. So, you know how I do. But, yeah, that came about that. And then it just pretty much just, I was going through a time where, you know, with uh, me and my wife was just, you know, uh, we, we separated. So we're separated. And um, I don't know if you might want to edit this out. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe after. We'll see how I feel, but I'm going to just get it all out now. <laughs> but, but, yeah, you know, uh We've been going, we've been going through some things, and uh, you know we separated, and uh, and but we we both agreed on this, and uh, you know we plan on taking the next steps to uh, you know further on with our lives individually, and um, what God has for us and stuff like that, and that song was pretty much like the like the breakout point ah breakout shout out to Mark ah yeah you guess it. <laughs> working on that. It was like the breakout point of when where I want to just fully just be me um, and not just be me, but outwardly too and uh, uh, inwardly through music and just uh, and just how I live my life because a lot of people think I don't really go through stuff because I'm a guy that forgives easy and I, uh, you know, I love hard and also just pretty much like, you know, I'm cool with everything. Like, I don't really show a lot of emotion when it comes to a lot of crazy stuff, you know, unless it's like family, personal stuff. But if if I'm going through something, I, a lot of people don't know. They just think I'm happy all the time. I'm just you cool. Happy, man. Happy. I mean, you know, you know, <laughs> shout out to my dad. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, so it was just, you know, I was, it's just one of them things like, you know, like I said in the verse, you know, I can't fake it like plastic. I used to fake the past like magic. Nowadays, it's hard to be sarcastic when life is following the casket, like, you know. So is like, that like you kind of saying, like, I used I used to, you know, kind of put on a facade, but now it's like things are too real for me to to fake it anymore. Yeah, and people are dying every day, you know, and, mm -hmm. and you know, that's what I said, following Man, that's the casket. Nice. It's like deep. going to a funeral, you know, it's like, now, it's that's what life is, you know. That's what, not is, but that's what it feels like you know at this uh mm -hmm. during all these times you know for everybody i feel like uh especially you know especially if you're black <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right now for real. i feel like life is a casket you know following a casket so um i just wanted to you know just be more you know spread awareness though you know just spread awareness mm -hmm. of being real um and and not fake and, the, and plastic is just the, like you said the outer layer are just uh something that's keeping you from being real you know and um but yeah burning plastic which is when you read the definition it's you know it's dangerous and if you you know inhale it any plastic that's burned you know it's it's a chemical that you know toxins and stuff that can actually kill you so me burning my plastic or other people burning their plastic it may be dangerous because of the truth or just certain things that people might come at you you know but 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 then again it's it's actually a good thing, you know, in a metaphorical sense, uh, so that, you know, people can get the real you or also just be able to see themselves, in you, you know, because sometimes if you put yourself out there, you know, shine your light, you know, or burn your plastic, you know, other people will probably burn theirs or confess or not confess or just even just be real with you, you know. There's times mm -hmm. when I told, there's times when I didn't have, uh, it's some years ago when me and my wife were struggling at the time. And, like, we came – it was, like, probably, like, the first or second year right when we got married, and I was, like, 22, 23. We both lost our jobs or something like that. We came not pay for the lights. And, you know, we didn't really tell nobody, you know, because we wanted – we didn't want to worry anybody first, but also we wanted to let people know or show people that we got it together, you know? Yeah. Right. And then – but we told someone else the situation, you know, and it was, like – Oh man, like we was going through the same thing too, and all that stuff. I was like, "Oh shoot!" Like I, I didn't even know, and so they actually helped us out with some resources and different things, and actually helped us during that time. And so, man, couples just, be just, faking, bro. 
Yeah. <laughs> Couples be fake but, on but, social media. I got a homeboy that said that, like, when he was married, that, like, his wife used to put posts. She'd be, like, laying next to him, um, and they'd be arguing, cussing each other out. And she'll be putting up – she'll put up a post, like, oh, me and my boo sitting here watching Netflix or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it would be something completely fake Dang. while they fighting <laughs> on the other side. Yeah, it's like she was just randomly like post great things about them when it's not like that at all. Yeah, like, couples be faking, man. And that's the thing so. too. I, I think like if if you even in, in as a couple and in, in individually, if you can't really, you know, uh, share things with people, you know what you're going through, you're dealing with those either inner demons or uh, dealing with you know just the life of you know living in the dark, not in the light, you know, secretly. And it kind of can mess you up, you know, or to, you can dig yourself in a hole or you just won't get blessed because there's people, like my favorite scripture is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 1, verse 3 through 4, and uh, pretty much saying that God is a God of comfort and that he comforts us so that mm -hmm. uh, whenever we go through something so we can comfort other people that's going through the same thing we're going through that doesn't get comfort directly from God, you know? So yeah. that's the whole reason why I came up with endure expressing power. Whatever you endure, uh, you know, express it in whatever way, uh, in an art way to empower other people. Because there's so many people that go through the same thing or similar things we go through. And so I just wanted to, usually in my songs, how I write my songs, I usually be the person. Um, even if it's not, even if it's not my story, like mm -hmm. I usually tend to be, the person or be in a relationship with that person that's going through something. So I like to internalize myself in it so that people can see me as that so they can see themselves, you know, just to be a reflection. So. Nice. That's dope. That is dope. Yeah, I didn't even know that that's what uh, I didn't even have that full understanding about endure expressing power until you just yeah. said that. I was like, oh, shoot. Like, okay. And that scripture, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that. And that's dope. Um you said something about forgiveness, bro. Um, I, I want to uh, just um, bring that out real quick. Cause I, uh, a lot of people um, struggle with forgiveness. I think sometimes uh, um, even people who, whether they struggle with it, like they don't really understand how to, how to forgive or people who just like, I refuse to, to forgive. Um, there's a, I feel like there's a lack, a lack of understanding of what forgiveness is really for um it's for the person to a degree but it's mainly for yourself because unforgiveness actually does affect your your actual health like your physical health like it it can like if it, if 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 unforgiveness and bitterness is really festered up in you that can create actual health issues um yeah. and not just that like you know what i'm saying just that's that's a lack of freedom for yourself because if you're staying stuck on on what somebody did to you mm -hmm. and and not seeing it as okay this can work out for my good still whatever what you're doing is you're staying there's a party that stays or remains in the past so then you can't move forward you gotta yeah. be able to forgive that you know what i'm saying so um uh, i want people to understand like yo like uh, cause like even me, I struggle with that to to a degree. Even though I have the understanding, but it's like, you know, I I'm feeling how I'm feeling, and it's like, you know, I don't know how to stop feeling how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like certain things that I kind of want from that particular situation, and it makes it it makes it hard for me to stop like focusing on that because of how strongly I feel about it. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, even though I like I said, I have to understand that, like, yo, like the same for me this, i mean the same for them this is for me for my own personal freedom and some things are easier to forgive than others but it's still you know what i'm saying it's 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 that difficulty or that challenge to to actually stop focusing on that because of how a person can you know really feel about that you know what i'm saying like if it's a, if it's a form of betrayal mm. that's not always easy to forgive even if you do have the understanding of it you know what i mean like depending on how strongly you feel about that that can you know what i'm saying that can kind of uh, dictate or determine uh you know you forgiving but um i think if we focus on this is not for them this is for me like i want my freedom so you know what it is what it is just let it go you know what i'm saying and 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 
let them let them be wherever they are, whether they're thinking about it or not. Cause, yeah, I've had to have moments where I've had to like literally tell God, you know what I mean, like um, take any bitterness out of my heart for this person, simply so I can stop thinking about them. Because I just mm, I don't want to yeah. think about them all the time. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, when you're angry at somebody, you think about them when you don't want to. So mm, yeah, um, I wanted to get out of that. And somebody once taught me um, that you know, even when you don't have the power to forgive in the moment. Um, what you do is you ask God to forgive them and you still release a supernatural power from heaven that doesn't have to come directly from your heart, but it comes from God's heart. And what you really want is God's heart for the person anyway. And what he pointed out was like Jesus on the, it was Paul who taught me this. It was like Jesus on the cross. Interesting. You know, he didn't say, I forgive y'all. He asked God to forgive them. You know what I'm saying? Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Right, he said. So he went straight to where the power was supposed to come from in the first place, and I was like, yeah, "Makes a lot of sense." You know what I mean? But, <laughs> I, I, but you I know what? You know what I re- just realized too. It there's a trust issue there. The, the reason why people don't forgive is because they don't trust God to take care of it. Right, right. And they want God to take care of it a specific way, as opposed to just saying, "You know what, God? Like, I trust you. I trust your ways." You know what I'm saying? It'll be it'll be done right. It'll be done correct. Whatever. And you know what I'm saying? God just just help me to, to forgive, help me to do my part, and you know what I'm saying, and I'll move on. Because the other thing to that, too, there's a flip side is if you don't forgive, God ain't forgiving you. Yeah. yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just, a, I just want people to, to get freedom in that area. I just feel like that was that was something when you brought it up. It was like, hey, it was something that just really stuck with me. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, I just want people to understand, like, yo, like, forgiveness is is part of your personal freedom. And if you don't forgive, like, you can't, you can't really be holistically free. free. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, sure. let me. I want to ask you this. One. I want to ask you this one. It's it's a it's a couple, it's a few things, but so so. I'm gonna ask this, and I'm gonna uh, give a, a context behind it. Okay. Um, what have you? What have? What have you had to sacrifice for your personal freedom? And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I think people don't have a full understanding or they lack the, the or whatever it is. Uh, freedom is not free. Like, freedom is going to cost you some things. Like, you're going to have to sacrifice relationships, business opportunities. Um, you know, like, you, you, it's not going to be um, easy. Is there's sacrifice involved, sacrificing right. money, sacrificing, you know, again, business opportunities, ministry opportunities, uh, relationships, you know, even family members sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, what my question is, what have you had to sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, for your personal freedom? Um, definitely, like, hanging out with uh, certain people. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, as far as the activities they do, uh, it's nothing productive. You know, I like to, I, I, in this season, I've been uh, trying to sacrifice everything that's not too, that's not pretty much productive in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not helping me progress as a man or artist or as a friend or anything like that. They're just, I don't know. I don't try to waste my time with things like that. Uh, I noticed that your name is Mark Augustus too. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he says name. I'm, I'm signed into his account. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Uh, also, too, I sacrifice. I have sacrificed some actually some some jobs too. Some some good jobs, good paying jobs. You uh, sacrificed jobs for your freedom. Like, what do you mean? You quit some? Or I didn't accept some. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, only because I know I know what I need to get to uh, to get to a certain spot, um, and time is a big thing. <laughs> so if I'm locked down to a certain amount of time, uh, because first of all, you know, I produce and I engineer, I record people, and I create things, and I help people with content, and so I need. 
I need good time when it comes to as far as of the day, like what what time of the day it is. And so if I'm like, yeah. you know, if I have my nights or my, my evenings and then my afternoons, then I'm good. But my evenings and nights is all toe up and I just have like early mornings. It's hard for me to do work with other people because usually other people, you know, have afternoons and uh, evenings, you know, that when they're free to do things. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't like to be bound by stuff like that. I mean, and uh, because I just know where it's taking pretty much. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So let me ask this because it, in, um, you, you mentioned something. I'm glad you actually brought that up because there's, you may, on your complex portrait album, you have a song called Millions. Okay. And in that song, it um, went way back. Yeah, bro. But it was, <laughs> it was something that came to, to my mind, man. Like, that just like when I was meditating and praying on on this episode, it was like, yo, like, what you know, what what do people need? You know what I'm saying? So, um, in in there, I'm gonna read the the lyrics that you put, uh, that's uh, part of your hook or transition in that song. It says, "I think I'd rather just be myself than value opinions of someone else. I believe I spend the most time being broken and constantly chasing wealth. I can't afford to live like this, and it's really costly. Keep that in mind." It's hard enough to find a peace of mind at the same time asking me what you deserve. I don't owe you a dime. So look at, oh, look at his face. He ain't heard that in a long time. His face <laughs> is like, this dude is man. rapping me. <laughs> <laughs> man, that felt that felt good. You know, thank you for reading my lyrics, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Um so I want you to talk to us about that because you know what I'm saying, like it basically kind of seems like you were struggling with the temptation of the uh, the kind of the idea of do I become a slave to money and go go just work a really good job mm-hmm. and then never pursue purpose and, and and goals in life or do I do this and then kind of like you said just find a good job that you know will. Uh, that can match that type of schedule and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like talk, talk to us about, uh, about that. Cause that's yeah, really so, a form of slavery in a way, whether people realize it or not. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, um, I need the same thing that keeps the earth moving, you know, but at the same time money make the world go, money make the world go around. So like money, mm-hmm. people use that, you know, like we use that every day and it's just like, we need that to survive. And obviously, and, you know, growing up in, you know, a family that uh, grew into middle class, middle class family, I would say. And, you know, they, they, you know, my parents, they pretty much established themselves, you know, in their work. And so money was, was a big thing for, for them as far as having it secured, you know, having money secured and, uh, and grinding out, you know, whether it's the same job, like grind out that job for 30 years, you know, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. and so, uh, so that's, so that's, my mind is that at there, but at the same time, it's like, you know, like, and how, how, how we operate, because it's like, you know, growing up being a follower of, of, of Jesus and not putting money first or making that be like my, uh, my my uh what you call it like my primary option in my life because it's yeah. like i'm a move i'm a move different you know if that's like money if it's my primary like of everything i'm gonna move totally different but not making that my focal point uh which allows me to okay i could use money but not like make that as my my everything and then so with that with the, with that song um even with those lyrics my fault so but uh, with that song, man, I, I played both parts. Like the, the first, the first verse, I was just pretty much like, not I didn't have money, or you know, relative things that I dealt with, uh, not being able to pay the light bill one time, a couple times, or uh, not being able to uh, do different things, and not not even feel comfortable with the tie, you know, and stuff like that. You better mm-hmm. pass the collection plate into another yeah. angle. <laughs> <laughs> For real, plate, man. Talking about giving up my last when giving up my first one, this feels like my last, you know? Right, and right, I'm right. I'm pretty sure everybody felt that way. But uh, mm-hmm. but then that was a desolate heart because it's me not trusting God, you know? And 
uh, right. with what he says in his word. And also, too, the second verse, I was the guy with the money, you know, built the corporate ladder. You know, I was, you know, balling, tent, you know, all, all that stuff. But at the same time, I still had the same thing. I had all that money, but still no, uh, no, uh, no true value, no true uh, self value. Uh, uh, not let the money, you know, uh, bring value to me, but just myself, you know, who right. I am as a person. And uh, and so yeah, man, I just try to play both parts and uh, to get perspective. That's the main thing, man. Just trying to get perspective to different things and uh, to let people know what's good. That's all. Um, I don't know what y'all want me to say. I don't know what I'm just saying. <laughs> it's early, man. I'm still, my, I, I'm still like, my, my eyes still. Hey, you sound like they me. Still to yeah, yeah. Hey, you, sound, you, still, you sound like me at the beginning of some of our episodes. I just be like, man, I'm, I'm tired. Like, they're nice when it's like late night, bro. And it's just like, I, I wake up like three hours later, sometimes four hours later. And it's just like, man, like. Yeah, so yeah, I've been preparing. I've been preparing all like all night for the show. We have a show show tonight um, with Legendary Minds, seven o'clock on uh, YouTube, and so. But yeah, man, uh, I was preparing that, like getting everybody track listings and rehearsing last night. So I got yeah, went to sleep kind of late. I ain't mad at it. I'm good. That's that's (laughs) that's work, bro. That's work. Um, nah, but I um I, I I like. I like I like you bringing that out because I feel like people, um, they get caught up too much in, oh, um, and I understand it. We got bills, we got you know financial responsibilities of different kinds, but I truly believe finances were never supposed to be a goal. They were just always supposed to be a benefit. Like for instance, when you go to work, you don't go chasing after medical and dental, and and vision. It's a benefit. Just come to work and then you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, that's what you got. That's part of the benefit of, of working. And in most cases, in most companies, it's not something that you're chasing after. It's not like your focal point of, of life. It's not like, oh, well, I'm doing this. So I can get medical and dental and vision. No, it's like, oh, if I go do this, I'll get this. Right. And it's the same thing with money. Like, if, and if you're taking care of life, if you're taking care of the things in life that you have a responsibility to, the way God wants you to do it, like, that that will always come. Dre just had somebody as part of the uh, RTC community. Um, last month, she said that she uh, that she paid all her bills just from selling cupcakes. Yeah, in one month, yeah. Pay a month worth of bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? She prayed for, for a solution uh, uh, and a strategy of uh, what she could do to help with everything that's going on. And part, you know what I'm saying? That's part of her purpose. So she went and did it. God blessed her for it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that fine, that financial benefit came into play. It, it was never supposed to be, oh, I'm um trying to get money. No, I'm producing money by I'm, doing I, this. A, I always uh I always like keep an open mind too though. Like I always like that's why I like dabble into everything as far as creatively, because uh-huh. I never know which one that I'm a pop in, you know? Uh, so, like, that, that, and also, too, being an investor in myself, that's why I was like, that's why I learned how to make my beats myself. I learned how to uh, engineer, learn how to mix and all that stuff. And I invested, you know, all these programs to so I could do everything myself because, you know, I didn't want to spend money, wait, you know, that's like wasting money to me uh, because right. I, could, I know that I'm capable uh, and willing to learn how to do this stuff and do it myself. Um, yeah. Although it's good to have, you know, of course you can branch out, and, and because there's people that's different, has a little, little bit uh, better uniqueness to them or uh, creativeness to them, so they can add more value to you. But I mean, that's that's why I'm proud of you guys, especially Dre, man, because Dre was just a rapper. <laughs> 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 when I went when when he, he introduced me to you know his creative world, you know. Uh, high school like you're just a rapper but now nah, this dude is an author rapper he he, he engineers himself he mixes himself master himself yeah. like he, he yeah. does video camera work photos he i'm like this dude doing everything now like all, <laughs> like i said like we all have it i know he didn't probably think he was gonna be doing all this when he first started rapping no <laughs> but rapping kind of helped get all these other little things to happen kind of helped but 
That, yeah, that man, I keep me, mind, man. That brings me to a question <laughs> I was going to ask you. Um, what's your vision for entrepreneurship? Like, how, how do you see this thing turning out for you? Man, I see me being like at the next Ryan Leslie, man. Yeah? Mm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he's in the tech and stuff like that. I'm in the tech, yeah. too. I'm into, yeah. like, stuff like that, too, and innovative, innovation and stuff. So uh, I know eventually I'm going to get somewhere in that field or also maybe just in the creative field, but in a higher scale, maybe, like, working with, like, a Sony or – or capital, or even being in the film industry or something in some way, but uh, but also, but as my own business, you know, kind of like how Kevin Hart has his LOL network. Yeah. yeah. He has his own little Kevin Hart productions, and he has all these different things that he's producing. Like, I could see myself doing something like that. Yeah, Do you no. desire for music to be your primary income? Music... I mean that's that's a desire. That's a yeah. desire. I desire that. I desire, I mean cuz I'm pursuing it. I'm pursuing it. Right, you know? right. And um but uh not 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 only though. I don't want that to be Right, 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 right. <laughs> but I mean like like the majority of the money you make are you like, you know, I might do something else with some money, but I know when this this check come from these shows or when this check come from this music, that's going to be my primary income. I was just wondering like if do you want that to be a primary income? Yeah, I want that to be my primary income for now. Uh, but I know that, I mean, but but when you think about that, see, I'm I'm capping myself because mm-hmm. I'm thinking like, oh, just doing shows or stuff like that. Like, I I could probably uh, be the the music you know leader for L A the L A Sparks. <laughs> so, yeah. That's true. Or, or Lakers, you know, like. And just orchestrating music for the. So you're the saying games. like it doesn't have to be me rapping my albums be primary income, but it could be anything. Right, 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 right. I, yeah. you, or, yeah. I could be a music supervisor for Marvel movies now. You know, like yeah. And I get that's expanding your vision. Movies. Yeah, that's just yeah. expanding. Yeah, visionary. Man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the guy, visionary. <laughs> Yo, for real. That's what's up. Nah, but yeah, man, I, I try to keep my mind open, man, with stuff like that, man, because it's it's so much uh, business out here. I'll say money, mm-hmm. but so much business that you can get into to be a benefit to other people, also to yourself too. But it's I don't know. There's so many jobs out here, man. Yeah. Hey, let me let me ask you this, bro. Have you ever had? Uh, a temptation or have you ever given into the temptation of giving up your personal freedom to gain something for uh to gain a temporary fix like yes, the temporary I, fix oh go ahead go ahead no no go ahead go ahead because no i'm just going to kind of explain I know that for sure i'm just gonna think about what but go ahead oh <laughs> uh, no no i just wanted to uh kind of uh clarify what that means for uh for the listening audience that may not um understand but basically what i'm saying is like the temporary fix could be Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna go do something I really don't want to do for the sake of money. You know what I'm saying? And and subject myself to a level of stress and frustration that I really don't want to deal with and live with. But because of this over here, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it. No, I was just playing. I was just playing. I was like, oh, I was saying like he ain't gonna ask. <laughs> I was like, I think that made the question harder. <laughs> <laughs> that did make the question harder, though. Actually. Yeah, um, yeah, man, my brain not trying to work. He, he really being uh, rebellious right now. <laughs> um, dang, I'm tired. He's like, nah, didn't think about nothing, dog. You think about nothing. His brain being. <laughs> hey, tell your brain to get it together. It gotta line up. Oh, <laughs> Fall in line, so. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I know there. I know there has been some. I'm trying to think of specific time, like a specific situation. I can't even really think about it right now. But I, yes, the qu- the answer is yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I ain't gonna make your music. brain work. This is in my music. I put, I put, I live my life in my music. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna just start telling people in interviews. Hey, yeah. I, you know, just listen to the song, man. Just, yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna talk about this, man. Yeah, if, you, man. if you really want to understand what I've been through, just go listen to my music. Just, just listen to the music, man. Listen to Complex yeah. Portrait first, and then just travel through my singles. Just travel through yeah, your singles. Man. <laughs> the singles, singles are gonna get you, but you know, go to Complex Portrait. You're gonna, you're gonna learn something. You're gonna you're gonna take that journey. Now I feel it, bro. I feel it. <laughs> oh, oh man. Nah, I, I, far, I, uh, it's just it's just being being with being with Mark, being with you and DeAndre, man. Like it's always jokes, man. It's jokes. Yeah, for real. No, that's why I said it's probably gonna be our most fun episode, bro. Because <laughs> I mean, we've had fun on the other one, but I don't think we've had as much fun. Um, so listen, uh, so glad that you came on the episode, bro. Like I am very grateful that you are here. Um. So as everybody knows, we did just start doing what we call quick lightning, and um, Ronnie. Quick lightning round. Yeah, but okay. this is the remix version. This is the remix that's, version. That's All funny. thanks to that's Dre. Funny. Yeah, yeah, Dre. He he did it to me on a bonus episode that I'm getting ready to drop over this weekend, and oh, uh, uh, or actually prior to this, actually is prior to this, and so you know he 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 pulled it out on me and just kind of remixed the whole thing. I was like, yo, like. And then I listened back to the episode that we did with Paul Kim, and I was like, actually, I like the way Dre did it better. So now I decided I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it the way that he did it with me. So uh, you ready for this? So I just answer. Yeah, you ready. Yeah. Remember, there ain't All no right. explanations to it. It's just just answer. Right. No, no, no why you pick this person or this thing or whatever. Uh, it's just answer, and that's it. <laughs> you don't get to, you uh, don't get to explain that. Good after. morning. It's just boom. Yeah. All right. All right. And yeah. I'm doing the, good. For the listening audience, he chose music, games, and food. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And and for the for music part, he chose hip hop and slash rap. All right, here yes. we go. Tupac or Big? Tupac, man. Domino's or Pizza Hut? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? What are kind of that? Tacos or burritos? Time to stay My name Red Flip. Tacos! <laughs> Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole? Kendrick, man. Ooh. Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis? Super Nintendo. High wings or barbecue? Now my life's so vigorous, no more whip or tins. They broke away, huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, I'm a barbecue man, man. New school rap or old school rap? Uh, new school, man, new school. Interesting. Xbox or, P- or PlayStation? Xbox all day. Lay chips or Ruffles? Ruffles. Lecrae, KB, or Andy Minio? Ah! Ooh! Ah, kick up my, uh, KB? Ah! <laughs> 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 Call of Duty or NBA 2K? NBA 2K, dog. What you mean? Ball is right. Barbecue chicken or fried chicken? Fried chicken. College dropout or graduation? College dropout. Crash Bandicoot or Donkey Possibilities infinite, they like Don't where he talk. went, cause all things have become new, and it's ever did. Now it's present. Oh man. So I went to a three, a three one in there. Yeah, bro. I know, man. I had to, I had to tap.